Welcome to the GSD Factor Podcast with your host, Misha Blamire Farish. On today's episode, I'm excited to have my fairy godmother, Lane Cagle. Hi, Lane. Hi. I'm floating around here in my way. <laughs> All right, Lane. So our story goes back about 16, 17 years oh ago. Oh my gosh, no wonder I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to us about, you know, you were this amazing, you have been an amazing recruiter, connector throughout your entire career. What is it that you saw in people when they were coming to you looking for looking for that job? Well, I'm very intuitive about people. I don't know if that's because I had to read people when I was younger, but I can read people and kind of, you know, even you, I called the client and said, don't look at the resume. She's not qualified. Don't look at the resume. Just listen to it. And sure enough, they hired you on the spot. Only person they ever did that with. They were smart. So anyway, yeah, it just was, I could look at a person and their resume and just go off on some other tangent. And I think that's what helped me. And the real sincere desire to help people. To help people feel they feed their kids, to help people, you know, advance their career, anything I could do to help. I think you've always very. I think you've also always been non-judgmental, mm-hmm. right? You've always looked at someone and said, "How can I help them? Mm-hmm. How can I make them better? Who can I connect them with?" No matter I what, I love connecting people. I'm still doing it. <laughs> I'm still getting people call me and say, "You yeah, remember me? I was back in O2 or whatever." And, you know, I need your help. And I just say, goody, you know, because I do it for free. And no, don't, don't say, no, <laughs> no, don't tell anybody. No, but I do. I, I, well, and when we, when we think about the GSD factor life of be confident, inquisitive, imaginative, present, resilient, and influential, when I think of you, I definitely think of influential because you constantly going out there and changing the world and changing people's lives. But Aww. what attribute resonates for you the most? Tell me again. What Confident. The... Inquisitive. Yeah. Imaginative. I guess. Um, present. Resilient. Yeah, I'm a resilient boy. <laughs> boy, anybody. <laughs> You want to buff with me on resilient? We'll have at it. <laughs> I'm resilient. I've had so many losses in my life, and I just had to overcome all that. And that helps me relate to people in all situations. I have a heart for people, and I can when they're sad or when they're scared or when they're, you know, broke or whatever. I try to make it better. I think it's called codependence. <laughs> no, you do you do have a heart of compassion and I do think that because of the do I do think because of the cards that life has dealt you, you have you have overcome them with such perseverance and resiliency and I think it makes you extremely empathetic to people. Yeah. Well, I hope so. It's something need to be coming out of this. <laughs> so, in talking about your in talking about your resiliency, you have battled Parkinson's mm-hmm. for how many years now? Twenty plus. Wow. Twenty five, I think. When you first had that diagnosis, what happened? What was what was the emotions that kind of flooded you? Oh, well, I was gonna beat it. I was gonna beat it. And I didn't want to think about not beating it. So I just set out to do better and to, to make it right and it just I fought so hard. I've I've done boxing. I've done all kinds of things, and I've I've just I've just hung in there and whipped it as much as I. I mean, yeah, people has been in in Parkinson's as long as I have. Usually can't walk, which I can't either. <laughs> what am I talking about? And uh, they have real problems. Well, I do too, but it's just it's just hard. Do. You yeah. definitely persevered, and for the last twenty, you know, for twenty six years now, right? You've mm-hmm. had this, you and you kept working. You only, you know, you only retired what about five years ago, five years ago right? So you, I'd um, still be there. If I could. <laughs> I would. But you're still connecting with people. You're still um, networking for people anytime. You know, I think you're still. 
you know, speaking into people's lives and seeing what, seeing what others don't see. And I think that that's the thing that you saw something in me that I didn't see for myself. And for that, I'm grateful. Why was that right? I just love it when I'm right. (laughs) You become, you become queen of the hill. And you, I remember you were making 24,000 a year, the job you came out of. And I thought, that's an injustice. (laughs) We need to make more money, you know. We did. We did. And you, but I still remember you had me come to your house and you helped me pick out my outfit and you prepared me for the interview. And you you said something to me. You talked about the STAR methodology back then. And that's something that I talk about with my clients even today. And I it's even in the book. And oh, really? in my chapter around my sheroes, you're obviously one of those oh. because you saw something in me and called it forth and helped me. And you helped me over so many times over the last 16 years through so many things. So I just want to say thank you. Oh, my thank you. Thank you, honey. It was such a pleasure to watch you grow and blossom and come into your own. It's just great. So one of the things I'm asking my guests this year is what are you powerfully choosing in 2024? Powerfully choosing victory over this disease. I don't know if it'll work, but it's going to (laughs) try. Well, and you are doing it, and you're doing it in style. Uh, you've always been such a style queen from your thrift stores and your... <laughs> yeah, come on down. I'll show you how to get a bar again. You're always so good at that, but you, you know, you've you always got your hair and makeup and outfits done, and I believe I that... for me, not for anybody. Exactly. It makes me feel better about me. And I think that that's a testament to to who you are, but also what you do for people, right? Is you don't do those different things for others. You do them for yourself first, okay. because if you feel good and confident yeah. and uh, in yourself, then it's going to help you put yourself out there into the world a little yeah. bit stronger and a little bit more confident and a resilient. Fiercer. A little fiercer. I like that. So powerfully choosing victory over this disease. I believe that. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't know what will happen. So as someone who was a one of the original founders of, you know, a massive recruiting firm here in the Nashville area, what's that one thing that you would tell anybody that is ha- is facing that life pivot of a career change, they're coming out of college, they may not be co- they may or they're even coming out of high school. What's that one thing that you recommend to them as they're embarking on their professional career? Walk walk into an interview like you own the joint. That's what I tell them. (laughs) I love it. Own it. Own it. Own it. And hold your head up. And and remember, you're interviewing them too. You know, they don't have all the power. So don't let them knock you around. Be confident. Yeah, be very confident. And own it. And own it. Yeah. So we can get shit done. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear you say it. <laughs> get shit done. Love it. <laughs> well, th- Lane, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. It's such an honor and for one of my sheroes to be on the podcast. And I just love you dearly. And I'm so grateful that you know God brought you into my life 16 years ago. So I'm lucky too. <laughs> I'm very blessed by you always. And just watching you grow it. It gives me incentive. It gives me a, a feeling of, well, you know, there's power. You can take the power, you can leave it, but pick it up and take it with you. And it's your legacy. You've left, you've, you, you ignited something in me and, you know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about you or mention you in a room and because you were such a huge influence in my professional career. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank (laughs) you for letting me be successful through you. It gives me great pleasure. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad to have had you on. Thank you to our listeners today and don't forget to get shit done. Thanks for listening to the GSD Factor podcast. If you liked this episode, please rate and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform, where you can also find previous episodes. Let's also connect on LinkedIn and Instagram. If you're looking for more information on the GSD Factor, visit us at gsdfactor.com. And always remember to GSD, get shit done.